Hey all, welcome into a new exciting Let's Play of Star Trek Online. I am your host, the Crimson Phoenix, and hey, this is day one of season 11 of Star Trek Online. That's right, folks. It's today, here on October the 27th, on this Tuesday, and, and it's funny because everything happens on Tuesday for the seasons. Uh, we are now in season 11, a new dawn. So, what does this imply? What does Season 11 bring out? Several new things. So, finally, so we got the new mission, Sunrise, which happens after the Iconian War. We'll get to that uh, later on, you know, uh, in the Let's Plays and whatnot. Uh, they brought in a new reputation thing for once you hit level 50. It's called the Terran Task Force reputation, where you get to earn uh, marks and... Uh, earn stuff on the new Terran Task Force uh, reputation, which I will, which will definitely show that um, when when we get to uh, level 50, I'll show everybody more on the reputation thing. But as well, and I wish I would have done these things a lot sooner, but that's going to be okay. The new Cardassian episodes are out. The entire Cardassian um, story uh, uh, episode arcs and everything has been redone. So, where this used to be a large list of episodes, we got in the new episodes that they brought out, and as well as the um, the 2400 um, episodes here. So, that's going to be okay, though. I do not mind that. Because that means once we're done here, which quite literally, we're at the end here then I can then then once we're done with cutting the cord then that is gonna be it now typically though sunrise which is the new mission typically you know I would probably do that I mean right now people that are that are rank 10 and up can play it but this for the feature episodes is only temporarily until like quite later on I'm sorry, y'all. I'm having a little bit of, heart, of uh, heartburns and everything going on here. But, um... <clears throat> uh, yeah, right now... We are on... Our next mission. Cutting the cord. And now... We get to see... The Atlantis in action. I just realized on uh, how low the audio is that I just meant uh, that I had to that. Oh well, and I wanted to hear, um, I, 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 want, I want to hear what um, Opusake had to say, but oh well, let's go ahead, go on, let's go on with the mission. And we can do this, so as tactical officers, there is one thing that we can do, and that's here where we can reprogram some of the uh, so, uh, so, some of the uh, turrets here at, uh, to uh, fight along with us. So right now, I got that going on with uh, with that, uh, with, uh, with that thing going on, so let's go ahead up to Vorus. Let's go. Okay, so we lost one turn, so let's go ahead, get on with the attack, prevent these guys from uh, doing that. And I almost forgot that the Excelsior, being a cruiser, can use the. Uh, it can use those uh, command things, so let's go ahead and get that. Oh, let's target this thing instead. All oh, the explosions. And there's a uh, the 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 di um. Zenaya. I'm gonna call it the Zenaya because I don't know if that D is silenced or not. 
probably is being a uh, being the Raymond languages, but uh, as you can see, that thing's actually um, in the Valdor class uh, vessel instead of the um, in instead of just the regular Mogai, because before they used to be um, a Mogai, but now since we got the Ro the Romulan Republic um, stuff in here, it's now the Valdor class uh, heavy. Um, uh, heavy warbird. Alright, so that's done. Now we just got to move closer Long to the planet. Show the Tal Shiar reinforcements are closing on this location. We must be swift. The Tal Shiar base is mobilizing. We need to hurry if we're going to have any chance to find Hakiv and his Iconian connections. I'll meet you on the surface. Let's be down to uh, let's be down to the planet. Now, the one thing I don't like about this part is you're beaming into this alone. Shiar are trying to jam transporters, and particle leakage from the strange technology here is affecting our targeting sensors. My scientists can't identify the type of particles yet, but several of my troops are reporting in from different locations. Transporters are being diverted. You're on your own for the moment. My scans show that the Tal Shiar have secured some areas of this base with force fields. You'll have to disable them, or find ways around them. Hakiv will be somewhere well defended, but we have him cornered now. So... Right, uh, so uh, so right now, let me actually put the vo uh, put the voice volume up a bit more. There we go. So right now, as you can see, we're a little bit on our own. That's okay because I did decide to um, go ahead and get some uh, little uh, other upgraded weapons and everything here. Oh, as well, you may notice that I do have a lot more. Um, I, I, I do have a little, uh, uh, you know, just a little bit more in terms of, uh, item storage space. That's because, um, Star Trek Online was doing a bit of a promotional thing earlier where I was able to, um, where, where, where I was able to get 12 additional, um, inventory slots. Not just on this character, but as well as um, other characters as well. So right now, uh, so, uh, so right now, we just got this. By the way, yes, I'm still using the Mar uh, the Mark VI um, kit, uh, ta uh, tactical kit. I have not gotten a new kit yet, but. Later on, I'm going to look into getting a, a new kid here, because I can't really go on... Actually, no, wait, I just remembered. Um, I'll be getting a new kid after the end of this mission, so <clears throat> I'll be fine. Battle stations, battle stations. So right now... And there's a few ways where you can figure out where to go. You can use the uh, little virtual guide path here, which tells you where to go here. But I've done this plenty of times where I know where to go. So, it's not. this is not going to be that difficult. I love how I was supposed how I was supposed to roll there, but instead of rolling, I just um, you know just slip forward. So the little thing that came up uh, was about um, orbital strikes, which that's something that anybody in any class can do is call in is co send coordinates for an orbital strike. When you get them all, you should get a um, a um, accolade for it. There's actually another accolade that any other class can get as well, but here's, here's the orbital strike here. This works for um, all three uh, classes, uh, for all three factions as well, since all three factions go through these missions. So there's one orbital strike right there. You know, as well, since we're kind of in combat here. Let's go around in a hazard suit, shall we? <laughs> I 
Okay, yeah, let's go this way. Evil Eggy. Wow. Oh, they got the... They got the... the okay. Call your reinforcements! Okay, let's actually also go over here because there's some Riemann got us. Uh, there's some Riemann sets right over here. Well, let's see if we can do uh, CPR on any of these guys here. It looks like we could talk to the lieutenant. We will hold this location. That's all they're gonna, that guy's gonna say there. So it looked like I just, uh, that I came in to. Uh, Help these guys a little bit late here. Let's go ahead and scan via Kiev. Kiev's in the promenade outside the building southwest of your location, but you are separated from him by one. Okay, by a force field. So we gotta, re uh, so we gotta reroute some power and try to disable the force field. Cause yeah, there's the force field right over there. So then. What we'll do, and I actually know how to do it, um, because you can see here on the little mini map, we gotta go over here. Oh, and here's where we're gonna get our next accolade here, folks. Guess what? We get to shoot that thing down! So yeah, they pretty much kind of it kind of shot over here. And if we were an engineer, there's an optional thing where we get to remodulate weather controls to depolar uh, to depolarize the gravity lifts of that uh, scorpion fighter. But don't worry, we actually dealt enough damage. There we go. You defeat a scorpion uh, scorpion fire while on foot. I wish I was able to, uh, to shoot that thing for this far, but unfortunately I need a sniper, which I don't got. So we def mm, so that's one accolade, but there's still another thing that we have to do. Oh wow, there's actually one of these over here. Cause you see that door? We gotta get that thing open. And in order to do that, we had to acquire an access uh, key. Oh, and here's where we get our next um, accolade right here. And I'll think about. It, I think this episode may be a little bit. Uh, um, oh, there we go. Maybe a little bit shorter than some of the others. But we'll find out. Death from above. And like I said, all uh, um, all factions can get the it can get those um, accolades, whether you're um, Romulan or Klingon, or even if you're a tactical science or engineer, you can still get that accolade, which I like, or any of those those accolades. It's too bad though, I don't got anybody 
in here, or at least uh, two other people in here to uh, to do this. So let's search the officer for the access chip. All right, so now, now that we got that chip, now we gotta run down here and take care of that, and, and take care of Hakeev. Oh, um, as well, a little, uh, little thing I do want to go ahead and say: um, shout out to Team Omega for uh, for uh, for win uh, for winning. Whoever designed the Omega. Um, uh, Team Omega ship congrats to y'all and finally Starfleet actually gets its own carrier that is not the damn Aatrox and I am going to hope that this that whatever class of vessel they're gonna name that thing that is a full on um, that, that, that is a, that it is gonna be a full on um, freaking uh, Thingy, you know, a, a, a full-on carrier with the two with the two fl uh, flight decks. Oh yeah, next uh, thing we can do is once we're done here, um, I'll show you the next thing here in a second. But uh, that's the one thing I've been kind of complaining about. None but I'll tell you as soon as uh, uh, this is over. Open the gate. Bring the Iconians here, and it will be over. That was Taurus's plan. And you saw how that ended for Khan. We finally have the opportunity. Victory is within our grasp. You call this victory? It's over. This is done. You're done. No! We can still finish. <laughs> you! You're the cause of all of this! Oh, really? You don't even understand what you walked into. You're too late to stop it. A lonely being such as yourself cannot even recognize the true power the Iconians represent. And I love how he says Iconians. On a place in their regime. All you've done is arrive in time for the end of existence as you know it. Oh, really? It's going to call in a little support. A little extra, uh, a little extra support as well. Why, well, pretty much Fool. just about defeated. I can call as many reinforcements as I need. God, I hate when Not that happens. Now. My ship has put an interference field around this plaza. It's over. I'll get to that here in the second after this battle here. And I just got a message on, I think that was what, Steam? Give me a second, I'm doing a Let's Play. You think you've stopped me? The Iconians already know. They know everything. <laughs> They'll be here soon. And nothing you've done will make a difference. It's not over. It's over for you. Okay. So, as you may have noticed earlier, when Hakiv was saying, Fool, I can call in as many reinforcements as I wish. They were actually using the original the voice. Okay, let me get this, bloody, this done with this, this as well. This is a significant step. While I do not seek your approval of my methods, the crossing of our paths has been fortuitous. It's a pity you cannot aid us further in our liberation. You have my respect and the respect of my crew. If in the future we encounter one another again as allies, I would find this gratifying. I must return to the Zedinia. I recommend Zedinia, you finish okay, what you came what to called. do and leave quickly. I can be here. 
So, all right, if we wanted to, we can go, um, if we were a science character, we can go this way to, um, get into the research area to override, uh, override some Iconian computers. But, uh, before I continue on, let me go ahead and say this little complaint. So, as you may have noticed, the voice for Akeem actually changed a bit, uh, quite a bit before, um, before we killed him, uh, when he was calling in uh, his reinforcement. The reason for that is because the voice, they had actually a different voice actor, I believe, for Hakiv before uh, Legacy of Romulus actually came out. But, I, but it's funny on how they kept the same voice actor and everything for that, so... Uh, it, it was quite interesting uh, to me, but... Oh! Damn, I wish I... Uh, 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 I hope it would uh, continue shooting, but okay. Yeah, so here we are going to be setting up to destroy this thing. But I found that interesting on how they kept the same voice for that. But, uh... Yeah, it's on my desktop right now. Okay, there we go. Alright, sorry I had to send a little message to a friend of mine. Um... Hello! The arch! It's a huge Iconian gate! I love how it's got a... Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ha um, have the... We're, we're gonna blow up the gateway. So we're gonna get a little safe place here. But, um, I like how they kept the different voice actor, uh, the same voice actor, but yet, yeah. So, and here's something else I'm going to complain about here as well. Give it a second. Quantum torpedoes? Nope, photons. I love how in... here with her flagship. I'm trying to hold her off. But the Zidenia is no match for a ship of that class. You'd better return to your vessel quickly. I like how in that moment, even though it had used the quantum uh, torpedo launching um, a sound effect, they brought they were using regular photon uh, photon torpedoes for destroying that thing. I found I kind of find that funny. Now I'm almost wondering because I know what's going to happen next in here. I'm wondering if they're going to have something different. Because, um, I never really did this mission Enemy. again we afterwards, but, yeah. I will assist you. Oh, I skipped over, see that? Well, that'll be okay. There's, uh, Laval. Let's go ahead and take on the, uh, some of the Romulan vessels that's in here and take out some of Sela's reinforcements. Of the Laval. Shan and Sir the full force of, the, of this dreadnought will be turned against any who per persists in this foolish rebellion. <laughs> Well, currently, you're being held by uh, those tra by those tractor mines, Sila.
and I just caught you in that eject warp plasma. So that's something good for the for the for some people who may or may not know this, but oh, that was awesome. But um, if you use um, eject warp plasma and you're going up against somebody that can cloak, that can actually re um, stop cloak ves vessels. Let's see what's gonna happen here, cause once that thing gets down to 35 to 25%, then it should change. But as you can see, this thing is a full scimitar. It's not the um, it, 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 it's not the falchion uh, uh, scimitar or the falchion dreadnought that the Roman Republic has. Oh, what's gonna happen here? Sensors are reading a gate opening. A ship is coming through. They did change it. Oh my god, they did change it. That's a herald ship. I am surprised because I, I, I guess they okay. I'm surprised on that because the Iconian vessel that usually come that was a Herald vessel because the original Iconian vessel that used to come out through there was a lot different than uh, this. I'm actually disappointed that they um, removed the original Iconian vessel. I thought they were going to bring it back, but. That's the one thing I, I'm just a little disappointed about on here. So there we have it, folks. That... That uh, that was cutting the cord. So... Sila... What it was, uh... I guess I'm not sure whether you say. I'm not going to do much spoilers for those who don't play you know, uh, Star, uh, Star Trek Online. But for those who do, you already know, everybody knows what happens, but... Starfleet will continue yeah. the search for Sila's vessel. But as of right now, we have no idea where the Iconians took her, or if she went willingly. I find this turn of events disturbing. Sila's absence will throw the Romulan Star Empire into even greater chaos. We have found that the Romulans are at their most dangerous when their backs are against the wall. Like wounded Salot cats, they will strike out at anyone in reach, and the Federation may bear the brunt of their fury. The return of the Iconians could change everything. And she's not wrong there. So, congratulations, Admiral. Yay! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Were, were we 41 and, and went up to 44? The Federation has offered the Riemann Resistance humanitarian Alright, so this is where we go to do the, um, uh, darkness, uh, before dawn. So we gotta go back towards the, um, we'll do all navigate. So for this one, we got, we, we just had to go over, uh, back to the Hakona and basically just talk to Obasek. But, uh, were we just power leveled from 41 to 44? I'm gonna have to look at that again because I swear to God, you know, while we're traveling, I gotta check. I have to check this out because I gotta check something on my YouTube. And I know I'm doing this live. On, uh, uh, I know I'm doing this while I'm recording, but it's weird because I swear to God that when we that 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 um, when we left off. I find my, my people okay. I swear, you know, I, I'll actually take a look at the recording and look at that because I swear to God, in the last episode, we were at 41. I swear to God that when we started this, I saw uh, I saw we were at 41. And then we just get uh, spiked up to 44. We will be free. 
So this one, we got a bunch of questions uh, in, uh, uh, in here that we can ask, uh, you know, why have you turned to the vault? Our base in the Dera system was heavily damaged by the Tal Shiar. We have reactivated the vault, and we will continue to rebuild it. A place that was once used to create weapons of war will now be a home where all are welcome. We will be And then, free. you know, what about the Romulan refugees who live in the vault? I have no quarrel with them. My people fought for freedom and for peace. We can learn to live with the Romulans if they will learn to live with us. We will be free. So yeah, there, there's a bunch of things we can do, um, and as well as before they uh, they used to have it to where after cutting the cord, um, when the the episodes first came out, you were able to get a Reman Bridge Officer, which uh, you can do. You know, this one. I wish one you well. I never wanted to rule yeah. my people, and I put no restriction. We will be free. Unfortunately, they don't have that uh, well, um, in anymore. Friend. I would but, welcome the chance yeah. to fight by your side again. We will. So now, oh yeah, they uh, we all uh, they also he also gives us a little trophy we can put in there, in the um. Yeah. So now, next up, Commander Sarish Mina, of Deep Space Nine has requested your assistance with a delicate matter involving Cardassia and Bajor. So, before we leave, because I'm going to assume, because uh, uh, this is just, um, you know, us going to, um, to uh, uh, go, uh, going over to uh, DS9, let's actually go ahead and transwarp all the way over to Deep Space Nine, y'all. Before I end this, so I mean, we're at thirty. We're at. I just saw. I looked at the thing. We're at thirty-two minutes here, so this will be all right. Ah uh, man, why get that? After rifle. the devastation of the Dominion War, the Cardassians chose a path that would lead their planet to prosperity and democracy. Not everyone agreed with this choice. A secret organization dedicated to the return of the Cardassian Union and the Obsidian Order, plagues Federation and Cardassian forces, seeking to overturn newfound freedoms in favor of oppression and aggression. In the end, the fight to save Deep Space Nine may be the battle that decides the fate of the Quadrant. So yeah, that's a little thing that uh, Spock says, then Leon Nimoy says, whenever you get over to the Alpha Triangle area in the Alpha Quadrant, so, here we are, folks. Here we are. Deep Space Nine, y'all. You've seen me, you, you have seen me come over to this place many times during my live streams. Whenever I'm live streaming, uh, wh wh whenever I live stream uh, Star Trek Online. But here we are. Deep Space Nine, folks. Oh, it looks like somebody does have, uh, looks like the Herald Cruiser in there, so. Let's go ahead and kinda, and kinda do this the proper way before I bring back the UI. Let's go ahead. Pretty much dock. Say we're about, uh, uh, that, uh, that we would like to dock. That'll be close enough. <laughs> Normal, uh, normally, you can just you know just hit the uh, thing that uh, the hit the um, button, but yeah, hit the dock button and whatnot. All right, so we got to uh, report to Commander Sarah Mina. I have no idea who that is. Let me go ahead and let people know that right now. I don't really know who that is. Apparently, it's the operations officer here. How can I help you? So... My name is Sarish Minna. I hold the rank of Commander in Starfleet. I am the operations officer for Deep Space Nine. I also serve informally as a liaison to the Bajor Militia and the Vedic Assembly. And I'm the subject matter expert on Bajor. Are you serious? Being Bajoran oh. myself, I know the people and have their trust. That's actually surprising because I would have thought that um, the... Uh, 
the liaison officer would have been in the Bajoran uniform. I mean, Commander Mina is in a Starfleet uniform, and being in Starfleet, it's actually a little bit surprising. How can I help you? So let's see, I'll still report to you. Welcome to Deep Space Nine, and thank you for coming so quickly. During the occupation of Bajor, many sacred artifacts were stolen and studied. After the bajoran cardassian Treaty was signed in 2371, these artifacts were supposed to be returned. However, the Obsidian Order, the Cardassian military intelligence branch, opposed the treaty and apparently hid at least some of these artifacts in their warehouses. We know this because we have been contacted by the Cardassian government. There is a faction among the Cardassians called the True Way that rejects the treaty with the Federation. This organization infiltrated a defunct Obsidian Order facility and stole an Orb of the Prophets. Continue. These orbs are precious to our people. They have been given to us by the Prophets. They possess mysterious and unusual powers. Many of them grant visions to supplicants. We believe the true way are operating out of a base in the Badlands. We would like you to travel to the Badlands and attempt to recover the orb on behalf of the Bajoran people. Definitely we'll track it down. How can I help you? So this this is where the we true do way has stolen this an mission. orb the Obsidian Order failed to return after the war. Although we don't know for certain where they have taken it. We have been getting dozens of reports of raiders hitting civilian ships near the Badlands. Starfleet Intelligence believes the raids are related to True Way activity in that region. We know that area is a haven for smugglers and criminals of all types. <coughs> oh, excuse it me. It stands to reason that the True Way are using it to avoid capture as well. They may even be using some of the McKee bases that were abandoned before the Cardassian War. We believe that the Badlands are therefore the most likely place for the True Way to be hiding the stolen orb. I know the Badlands are dangerous, but I have complete confidence in the ship and her crew. <laughs> too bad, uh, too bad, uh, yeah, then uh, she's not able to say the Atlantis and her crew, but I don't care about that. What oh, rewards do we get? Oh, okay, we get some of these resonate. Okay, so we get. So, so two of the things we get are actually from another mission, but. Ooh, I like that. Chance and Cannon. Okay, that's a new one. Alright, well, How can I help? we're going to be doing Spoils of War in the next Let's Play um, after, uh, you know, yeah, we're, we're going to be doing the, uh, this one next, um, in, the, in the next Let's Play. So this is, well, this is going to be good because, you know, even though I would love to have done the old Cardassian missions, I'm okay with doing, with doing the new ones. But yeah, we are here, Deep Space Nine, the Atlantis, and the crew. And I'm still shocked that we uh, that, that we skipped three levels up here, and we're actually about to hit uh, hit level 45 right now. So here's actually what I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, so people see. Let's go ahead, find this. Let's go ahead and uh, put a few assignments on, so that way when we get back. This way, um, when uh, when uh, when we come back next, then we should then we should have done enough to where we would be able to get to uh, level forty-five. Although, watch, I bet you, in some way, somehow, we're gonna get we're gonna uh, once we get to forty-five, we'll probably somehow skip up to fifty. I have no idea if that may happen. If that does happen, that that uh, that would be um, actually kind of awesome. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I need to do the uh, these here. So five. And of course, I gotta go uh, go in and that uh, in and out of this to be able to do the beginning assignment. Uh, yeah, I know some of these are short and some of these are long, but it. All adds up once um uh, uh, once everything is filled. Okay, so this is gonna so yeah I believe we may uh, um 
we may have gotten everything we can except for like a few things here so uh, like, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here so like I said in the next episode we'll be we will be doing spoils of war which is gonna be taking place inside the new um, inside the new Cardassian missions luckily these are not as long as the old ones as I had uh, mentioned earlier so we'll be going through a lot of these. Uh, we'll be going through a lot of these probably really quickly if I was if I um, continue on doing these steadily. So appreciate everybody who's come to look at this. I just realized to spend ten minutes uh, going um, getting the mission and everything, but that's gonna be okay. Appreciate everybody who um, comes in on this. Please, if you, if you would like to, go ahead and subscribe to my Twitter account. And subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel if you like it. Leave a comment and a like in uh, below. And we will see y'all next time in the Spoils of Wars. And there's a random Romulan from Delta from the Delta Strike Force that just decided to get in on get in at, at the last second. <laughs> anyway, I am your host. I am the Crimson Phoenix. And you all have yourselves a wonderful day. Thank you. <laughs>